and welcome back to my channel. So today I have my boxy charm to share with you guys. I don't have my physical box with me because it was damaged in the rain. And you also have to excuse my voice. I keep losing my voice. I don't it all this happens on a filming day, of course. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. But before we begin, let me remind you that subscribing is 100% free, so please click that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post. Alrighty, so this month's theme is Dare to Dazzle, and we will start off with the skincare item. We got several skincare items in this month's box. This first item is by Skin Ink and it is called My Daily Dose of Glow. And it's supposed to revive dull aging skin, which sounds wonderful. Um, you're supposed to put three drops on your face before you moisturize. And I only got this two or three days ago, so I only got to use it just a couple of times but um, I haven't seen any difference so far. But of course, like always, I will either let you know on my Instagram or in the description box. So make sure you're following me on Instagram. But um, yeah, if there is anything wonderful about this product, I will be sure to let you guys know. This next item is by True and Luscious and it is the Flower Dose Lip and Eye Serum. And you can either use this alone or as a makeup base, which is how I used it today. It's supposed to reduce fine lines and improve elasticity. This was my first time using it today and um, the packaging is pretty cool. It's like a big syringe and you can like open it and close it like this. And then once it's open, you can press up to have the liquid come out. Um, I used it under my eyes, on my lips, and also I have like smile lines, so I wanted to see if it did anything for those lines. But uh, other than a little bit of a tingling feeling in my lips, I didn't see anything happen. I think it's just too soon to tell maybe. So um, of course, like I said, I'll give you guys an update on Instagram or the description box below. But I mean, so far I think it just looks kind of... Maybe it's just like a gimmicky kind of product. I, I didn't actually see anything happen, but like I said, it's only been one use, so you never know. The next item, I cannot find it anywhere. I used it for the last couple of days, like right before bed, and it might be somewhere downstairs. I'll insert a clip of it, but it is a overnight lip mask and it's by Asology. This is supposed to resurface your lips, but you're supposed to use this before you go to sleep. And when you wake up, you're supposed to take a damp cotton pad and remove it. Um, I did use it for like two or three days, still too soon to tell. But I do like how it moisturizes my lips. I always use a lip moisturizer before I go to sleep, so Either way, I'm glad I got a lip mask. This next item is by Brow Bar by Rima, and it is the Brow Lights Camera Action Duo Brow Highlighter. It has two sides, as you can see. One side is like a more creamy concealer-like look to it, versus the other side, which is like a pearlized finish. And the um, creamy side is what I used First, uh, I just used it to clean up my brows and um, it worked perfectly well. And then the pearlized side, I used it as my brow bone highlight, my inner corner highlight, and I even used it like right on the tip tops of my cheek highlight just to add just a little bit of extra something. Um, and both worked really well. I don't like pencil, like wooden pencil eyeliners and lip liners or anything like that because I just hate sharpening it. It is um, a little dangerous if you think about it. Um, I had to resharpen it because there was like a wood piece that was like pointing out and it was stabbing my eye when I was using it. <sighs> so um, other than that, the product worked perfectly well. Um, but this is something that I recently just filmed a declutter and this is going to go in that pile. By the way, that declutter is coming up, so notification bell. 
Moving on to the last item. Okay, so this last item in the box is by OPV Beauty and it is their Spotlight Eyeshadow Palette. These are the colors, very, very beautiful. I always try to use as many colors as possible, but I didn't want to use like the same colors that I always use. So I went for more of like a bluey, bluey look, I guess. You know, I was feeling rather blue today, so um, I wanted to match my nails. <laughs> so I went for like more of the cool tone blue side of this palette. I will show you guys how I used this palette in creating this look towards the end of the video in a little makeup tutorial. So stay tuned for that. I ended up using nine out of the 18 shades in here, which is pretty good. So exactly half. I actually did like the shadows that I used. I really like the look I got to create. Um, these three kind of are all the same, if I'm being completely honest, these three right here. They kind of look like that MAC eyeshadow, I forgot what it's called. Those are those three colors. Yeah. And they just, they look so similar, like especially on the eye that, I mean, they could have switched out at least one of these shades. These are really pretty shades nonetheless, and they did blend out really well, very easily, very nice, but for $40, I want a little bit more, you know what I mean? Like, uh, this just, it was kind of weird to see just three colors, and like right next to each other too, that was, that was weird. But they might look just a tad bit different, but on the eyes, they just look the same. So I just ended up mixing all three pretty much. But other than that, I really liked this eyeshadow palette. If I were to rate this palette, I would say I'd probably give it like an eight out of 10. It's, it's really good, but um, yeah, just, just those three shadows right here. Even this one, these two gold colors, one's a little bit more bronzy. And when you wear them on the eyes, just it looks really similar to each other so that's like one two three four five out of the 18 shadows so far that look super similar but i did overall like the quality of the palette Alrighty, so those were all the items in this month's box um we got mainly skincare items i feel in this month's box which i'm not mad about if i were to choose my favorite item out of this month's box it would definitely have to be the eyeshadow palette everything else was you know skincare items but um i still need some more time to experiment with those see how it helps my face or it doesn't we'll see but not bad i've had better boxes this, this month's box was kind of like eh. sometimes you get really awesome boxes and sometimes you get these kind of okay boxes but it's not bad it's not bad i think the box was saved because of the eyeshadow palette. Let me do some math here. Okay, so I did the math and the total for this month's box is $174. And that is not too bad, not too bad at all. If I were to rate this box, I'd probably give it a two out of five. I've had better boxes for sure. <laughs>
month's BoxyCharm unboxing. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you guys got in this month's BoxyCharm. Did you love it? Did you hate it? Let me know down below. Other than that, please subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!